Hello, and welcome back to Leaf Blower Revolution. So, if you've been out of the loop, there's been a much anticipated update, and it is the 2.14 update. So, it starts off Dear Leaf Blowers, update time is best time. Version 2.14 comes out with a brand new feature cards. Collect cards by defeating enemies and bosses. Receive bonus stats from collecting cards of different tiers, and many of them even have individual properties. It's time to discover a total of 420 nice different cards. So I'm assuming the 420, that had to be intentional. I, I couldn't see how that's not intentional, but we'll see. As usual, the update includes several quality of life improvements. So the first major feature is cards. This is really, there's, there's two... Uh, major features. There's cards, there's a card pack DLC, there's a new area and a new boss, and I haven't made it there yet. So let's start with that. So as you can see, and I apologize, this skips a lot. This is the cards. I do have my menu transparency turned down slightly, just so it makes it a little easier. And here are the cards. So for example, I have apparently... Managed to get um, 10 of the hyenas. Offline MLC plus 0.01 per minute. A am I doing an additional tenth of a crunch per minute now? That's a great question. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this ha he has tabified a lot of things that makes it a lot nicer. So, yes, I am doing fractional offline MLCs. Okay, that's cool. I, did, I didn't realize I was doing them. Anyway, so let, let's get back to the cards. So, as you can see, each one has a unique thing. Oh, okay, this is regular crunches. Oh, okay. Offline tower floors. And these are just common cards. Um, I haven't looked at all these. Claw, who cares about the claw equipment? The big one is the snowman, because he is... Brew crit chance, he is huge. Like, if you're... If you are anywhere past the pyramid, brew, brew crit is the thing, so getting these snowman cards is very good. Oh, scroll duration. That's nice, Mr. Scorpion. Okay, Mr. Crab, he just sucks. Common, common crab, he just sucks. And same with the tower brain. Okay. As you can see, I, I intentionally salvaged one of my common witch cards, but uh, as you can see, I have nine of her. So she gives extra curses, extra essence, uh, leaf value. That doesn't matter, but I mean, it's nice to have, especially when you're playing through, and um, extra boss card chances. Interestingly, that doesn't change with the quantity of cards, as you can see, because I can show you with the centaur, it's still the same. Now, the interesting thing is the centaur, the... Uh, Vile Creature, a.k.a. Batman, and the Tornado Dude, the Air Elemental, they all give you enemy shards multiplier. That has been a big, probably the biggest boon in me being able to uh, work on getting more of my um, essences and the shards, because now when I kill those guys, and we'll go show you, they drop a lot more shards. So as you can see, there's, there's six tiers, common, uncommon, rare, epic, mythical, and legendary. So... Yes, in this game, Mythical is below Legendary. So let's look at Uncommon. And again, I don't have a ton, but, you know, we'll look at the Witch. And, I, and, and again, I intentionally salvaged one of hers. And again, it's more of the same, just more powerful, right? More Curses, more Essence, etc. And it's the same with these guys. More Shards, more Resources, more Leafs. And same here. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't, so like where I'm at in the game, I'm basically stuck farming the witch, so I haven't seen much of the other guys. As you can see from my, nine, now I haven't salvaged one of these, I just happen to have nine of these, and again, it's, this one actually gives blower damage, which is nice, oh, more damage is always good, but again, the same leaf, curses, essence, and, and enemy drop. You know, where was that silly crab? Do I have any of the crabs in any of, oh, here, we have a crab. Oh, wait, that's common. That's a common crab. He sucks. Do we have anything? I only have one epic so far of her. And again, blower damage. And it's basically the same thing. 
I don't know if they get more mods as they go higher. Like, it is rare where they get a new mod. I, I do have a mythical. Oh, she and I guess mythical they get another mod because she has a slap multiplier for mythical now. She didn't have that before. Again, do we have the crab anywhere? Oh, crabo. No, we don't. And here I have a, a very few. I have a legendary beetle, which is lower damage, claw equipment, resource drops, leaves, and slap. And I apparently have a legendary tower bad skull, which he had. Oh, they animated. I didn't. Oh, you're not animated. I'm surprised for all the witch farming. I haven't seen a, le a legendary um, witch. But I think I got those out of card packs. We'll talk about that in a second. So, I mean, not not bad. I mean, these would be really good in the early game. So to unlock these, you do need to get an MLC upgrade called Unlock Cards. It costs uh, 5,000 MLC, which, if you've been playing along with me, that should be pretty easy, pretty affordable. There are some upgrades in the gem shop that are very important, too. It's At least you want to get the card magnet if you want to AFK them. And the card detector, I mean, I bought it because, you know, I have gems. So I was like, well, let me just buy things. And they did tabify the gem shop. That's one of the other features. And now, so everything has its own little tab. And, of course, you know, I do have all the supporter perks. Okay, so... That, now, let's go look at the card packs. So the card packs, and you don't need to buy the DLC for the card packs if you come here. You basically can salvage cards to get card parts and then get turn the card parts into a pack. And, uh, you know, uh, just for you guys, I'll spend uh, 300 gems and we'll, we'll buy one of these. I don't want to, like, it's not worth spending your gems on these, but just so I can show you what a card pack's like. We will buy the least expensive one, and we'll open it. And so I got a rare Tower Bad Skull, and you can hover him to see his what he gives you. And remember, this is just for you guys. Don't don't spend your gems on this. I already looked into it. It's not worth it. And we got an uncommon Tower Factory, and he is nothing nothing really to write home about. And we got a common uh, carrot and. Yeah, he doesn't do anything either. Well, he oh, he's curses per second percent. That actually is interesting. That's an interesting mod. Um, extra curses per second, you know, that's a great way to get more curses. So like I said, like even some of the common enemies you fight, they still have good um, abilities. And yeah, I should have saved it for a video, but I did buy a bunch of the gem packs here, the legendary ones, and then I regretted it later. All right, look, we'll do one for the video. It's really not worth spending 4000 So we got ooh, we got a Mythical Frog, which is Blower Damage, Drop, Leaf, Skip, skip Tower Floor Chance Multiplier. All right, that's interesting. And Slap, okay. And we got our second Mythical Tower Hair, which is Damage, Blower Damage, Percent, Drop, Leaf, and Slap. Okay, that's good. And we got a Rare Tower Fire, which is Blower Damage, Resource Drop, and Leaf Multiplier. Okay, and we got a rare bat and a rare bee. A bee is BLC. Oh, BLC coin percent. Now, that's not useful to me now, but this will be useful if you're, you know, when you're playing the game normally. And we got a rare bat. Okay. So I am mildly curious. So we're going to just hop into, uh, I don't know. You know, you would have th you would have thought there would be a card challenge. I'm going to suggest that because that would be an interesting new challenge mode to start where you can where the cards drop and just kind of you can make your way through. Let's see. I uh, don't even remember where the challenge modes are. Oh, it's right here. It's the metal. Yeah, I, I'm still... I still... The one I haven't been able to do is uh, the curse game percent. This one, yeah. Clear all... Gem upgrades are disabled. Okay, thanks. Yeah, bingo should say gem upgrades are disabled, but it doesn't, and it should. If you're looking to do bingo or bingo++, plus plus, I recommend stopping in the Discord. They do have good seeds that you can use to make it much easier. Um, I don't have a, I don't have a challenge going. Um, I, for, I don't, and we're not really, you know, we'll do com now. 
And again, I'm by no means going to actually complete Comno the challenge. Um, what's, what's, oh, it, you don't even see it up here. Okay, well, that, that answers that. Yeah, we're not doing this challenge. I'm just going to quit the challenge. Because I have no interest in doing Comno, but I was just curious, if you started a challenge, would it show up? And the answer is no. So, that covers that. Unfortunately, like I said, I haven't made it to the new area to show you the new box. The gem leaves, this is actually a, a really nice quality of life change. Now, now you can very easily see each one. Now, of course, I have the gem seeds, so I've maxed everything. But see how easy it is to note, like before, like it was a nightmare just scrolling. Now everything's tabified. That is 100% a much better change. Max trade refresh timer set to seven days. So what this is, is if you time cheat, the way you get punished is it'll change how your trades refresh to seven days. That's your punishment for time cheating, so just don't cheat. It's a, I guess it used to be higher than seven days. I guess if you cheated a lot before, so yeah, I, I don't know. So just, just don't cheat. Just don't cheat. Um... Codes can be redeemed without a Humble North account. Okay, I guess if you didn't make an account, you can redeem codes. That's that's fine. Oh, more Tower and Pyramid milestones. So this might have some spoilers, but that's fine. You're not watching. Oh. What? How did I... I, I, I missed one? I did. It's mostly there's some that are sprinkled in here to give you extra card chances. There were not any past, uh, as far as I can tell, 300,000. Maybe they're hidden. I don't know. For uh, the tower and for the pyramid, there's there's uh, one additional one, and I believe this is an extra card chance. Again, I barely cleared 150, so I haven't tried to clear 151. You know, I'm kind of curious. Um, actually, let me let me ki let's kill the witch. Let me turn the alchemy off, and we'll go try it. Wait, really? Really? I'm doing this in an update video? Whatever. We're we're gonna do it. I mean, the pyramid's going to take like 30 seconds, so you just have to deal with it. You can, you can press the skip button six times if you want to you want to not see this. So we're just going to go to the pyramid, and i got to equip my trout. <clears throat> and yes, I had to make the menus transparent. And, oh, whoops, you guys need your aces still. And we're going to go to 151, so we're going to have to go... Oh, I don't... Okay, we're going to go here... I'm going to feed this guy. Well, we're going to unlock one all the way up to 155 because it, it, at this point in the game, there's nothing past 155. So I'm not going for bragging rights. And don't, don't. So the fact that I can one-shot these doesn't mean anything. I'll tell you that right now. This does not mean a thing because the boss, even though I can one-shot these, the boss just has... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat this. Well, that was, a, that was a fun detour, wasn't it? Did you enjoy the detour? I forgot I did it with, um, whatever. We'll just switch back to here. We're just going to pretend that I didn't even do this. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's still pretty tough. It does give you an extra card drop chance, so there's that. Oh, you know what? While we're doing this, I'm going to show you the, the bosses here. And this is why I had to make my menu more transparent, because of this. I wanted to actually see if... I, I still can't really tell if I'm getting cards or not, but you know what? It's better than what it was. Okay, and anyways, pet the pets. Still haven't finished that achievement. Did we get any new lore? No, and I still have to go over the lore with you guys, so we haven't... There's no new lore. All right, that was a little detour. Um, colorized crafted leaves. Oh, yes, you can do this now. This is actually very important. If you have want to, like, stay organized in the kind of leaves you have, you can now do, like, for example, this. You can come in here, and it's an overview. And you can say, oh, I want this leaf to be yellow for whatever reason. And it now has... Now, I don't know why it uses this blue, because if you look at the blue, it... Oh, it's slightly darker than the selected blue. I haven't really used it yet because I only have one. I only really have one set of leaves I'm working on. 
I and I haven't gone back and like said, oh, let me change my damage set or change this. Set. I'm assuming you could do it here too. Yes. All right, well, we're not doing that now. So, for example, but for example, like if I wanted my WEM set to all be one color, I could give them all the red background, and that, and then it would make them stand out compared to the other leaves. Definitely a good improvement. It got very confusing when I was doing all these leaves. Like, like for example, for this, what I really could do is this. These will do this red. These are my ten out of ten leaves. This is my nine out of nine leaf. And this is my eight. And again, this is not as useful. Wait, what? Is this really not cyan? Okay, that does not look like. I mean, is it my eyes? Or does that cyan not look like that cyan? Like, it's not even, like, remotely close to what this looks like. It looks like a less green green. That clearly looks like cyan. That looks like a less green green. I don't think they're close at all. That said, like, it is a nice feature, especially, like, when you start getting... A bunch of leaves of the same type. I haven't employed it yet because I just made crafted sets. But when I was when I was crafting before, this would have been really useful to keep my leaves straight. Especially when I was dealing with only ancient leaves, and I had so many different types, and they all had different functions, and I couldn't I couldn't remember who was who and what was what. <clears throat> so that is actually a really nice feature. I do wish that this color actually reflected the correct color because it just. It looks green. It does not look like this color at all. I don't understand. Uh, resource navigation. I, I So there's favorites and blank added. And I assume blank is just for people that don't want to have something on the right side of the screen. But you can favorite things. So to favorite something, you come into the control panel and you go to resource panel and you can favorite things unfortunately you can only favorite the things that are listed here and it's only leafs uh for now this is very unfortunate because in my opinion if i could put let me let me show you the things i look at so clearly i look at leaves but i look at dark essence I look at my other essences here. I oh, I, I forgot to turn this back on. So I look at my DE sometimes. I, I look at this less and less now. I look at my materials here, but just water, leaf. Uh, I probably wouldn't even look at earth. Well, no, actually, earth is probably the one I would end up tracking the most, and uh, uh, whatever this one is. Cosmic leaves or something. I don't know. Leaf scented leaves. Like I, you, I wouldn't really care about this. This is just something that's going to happen. I'm going to leaf send things, and it is what it is. Boss timers. Now this would be really nice because I'd really want to put. Whoops. I, I hate that. Like yeah. I would really want to put the leaves I have selected. I don't think there's anything else I need out of here. I would like to then combine that with the essences from here. I don't care about leaf scents. And then the boss timers, too. I'd want to make them all like that, and then I could never... I'd never have a reason to look at any of the other tabs. Because I would see everything I need to hear. Uh, they did mention that that's probably in the future, and for now, that this is just this. So, it's a good start. It's a good start. Um, hold on, we're going to do something. It is a good start, though. No. You know what would be, would be nice is if you could color the entire set one color. Like, like not having to pick each individual leaf out, just color the entire set. That would be really nice. And yes, you can eventually brew card parts from fusion and transformation shards, apparently in three dark essence, so... So you will never not be farming the witch. And that is 
25 card parts, so that's not a small amount of card parts, so... The Witch will... Unless they make the new boss drop these, maybe... Maybe that's what the other... Maybe they drop these kind of shards. I don't know. I haven't made it that far. That would... But still, 3DE, you'd still have to come back and farm the Witch. It's kind of funny. All right, and anyways, that's the, that covers the favorites and the blank. Selection quantity will be reset when the game is closed mobile only. I don't play mobile. I don't know what that is. I play this through Steam. Quest material resource count will be colored red when having insufficient material resources. It's similar to what you see here. See how this is red? This means I don't have the 200 DE or the 100 DE to actually do this. On some of the tabs, it's a lot better. For example, if I go here, it actually tells you how many your resource here. I do wish for something like this, they would put the resources across the bottom. I mean, I understand it's more than like one resource on here. This page is kind of busy. Like it wouldn't be reasonable at all, I think, for curses. I think that's unrealistic. But like, like this page, this would be great, you know, to see your sacred leaves and how many shards you have. And, and I, have, I haven't brewed Uncommon Relics. That's, I haven't even started Leaf Sending. Everything is a Common Relic for now. Actually, take that back. I brewed this twice. I'm holding back on this until I get my brew set further because I don't need the damage right now. I have, I have more than enough damage, if you, if, as you can tell, because I can kill everything I need to. All right, wait, we're going to warp again. And then we'll hop back here. House controls change optimized for the mobile. Okay, again, not playing mobile, so I don't know about that. Leaf counter now has a bet button. Oh, yes, we will go bet on the leaf counter. So you can come in here now and leaf counter, and you can do a bet. And I failed the bet. This is to help your counter uh, go further because leaf counter gives you damage, So da and damage is good. Right now, mine's a measly uh, 7,000. And like I said, I failed my bet. You have to bet 500 Gs. Damn. I don't... I, I Maybe cards affect this now. I'm not sure. I assume they do. We'll find out. Okay, so let's head back to... Wait. Oh, okay. Every 100... Uh, 10,000 is 5%. I misread that. Okay, so let's head back to, yep, boss, it's Bond. Yay, we got it, we got her. Again, I've never had a successful bet. Um, honestly, it doesn't even seem like betting is worth it, because to get, unless it goes up, because three times for 30% chance, the odds are better for you just hit the count button. It would have to be 33% or more to make the bet uh, the expected value, and even then, 33% or more puts the expected value of the bet, and we'll, we'll say 33.333 repeating percent, puts the expected value of the bet as the same as doing the count. So if you bet three times, one should go through and two should fail, and you would get a count of three, right? If you, if you count three times, you also get a count of three, so I don't understand that. Maybe, um, oh, leaf count value can be upgraded. I don't know where you upgrade that. Maybe it's further than I am, because, uh... Oh, right, the, right, there is some new stuff for the mulch, again, um, the, with the cards. Oh, I didn't realize the, the card parts. Well, that's fine. Everything counts, right? And, um... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm also reading the patch notes. Oh, crap. I, I forgot to turn them back on. Hold on. Whoops. All right. Well, now we're back on the patch notes. Sorry about that. We're about halfway down. Um, quest material research count. Oh, yeah. yeah that's the color red. We talked about that. Offline updates. in the. Oh, yeah. So I don't, I'm just going to leave this off. If you want to see the patch notes, I'll, I'll paste them in the, the uh, description or something. So, like I sh so the important thing is to notice that things are tabified now. So, for example, this is the offline. I did briefly touch on this. But just in case you're looking for something, here's the offline. Here's the general. And, again, very important, get that card magnet. And then there's a time travel tab, and there's the supporter perks. So make sure you, you realize the tabs are down there. Uh, 
Uh, the tower floor skip was fixed. I don't know how that was broken. Lower text can now be scrolled with the mouse wheel. Well, yeah, let's see about that. Now, I'm not going to spoil the lore we haven't seen yet. Uh, sort of? It also sc it scrolls both. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm just going to use this when we like we do usually. Enemies in the stats screen now show where they spawn. That's actually probably important if you're going card hunting, so... Where are they? Enemies. So they, they tell you. So like the ALV, he's in the volcano. The sad thing is when you look at these, look at how many I've defeated and they weren't dropping cards and it's like, damn it. Damn it. Now you're dropping cards. Oh. Yeah, like I've only defeated 400 bees because they're only in the neighbor's garden. And the same thing with the birds. They just weren't used anywhere else. What's what have I killed? Who have I killed the most? I, I did a lot of the tower. <clears throat> I think it's the one that I've killed four hundred times. The scorpion. Yeah, it's gonna be the stuff I did. Yes, the stuff in the inner curse pyramid. So, yeah, four hundred thousand for like the hyena, the scorpion, anything that showed up there. Like I've never killed many scorp uh, snowmen because they only spawn in that one spot. So, yeah, anything in the Curse Pyramid is going to be around 400. And unfortunately, um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> I was having issues. We'll, we'll talk about it now with the tower. I was lagging when I was farming the uh, tower for equipment. I found out what you want to turn off is I turned off so much stuff. I turned off draw basic leaves, draw other leaves. I probably should turn off draw fruits. Uh, I still let enemies show up. I turned off drawing of the equipment. I turned off drawing of materials because I also lagged out in um, the Dark Glade, I'm assuming, because it kept drawing the materials over and over again. I turned off drawing the dig items so I can just sit here and dig without worrying about it. I, and I turned off draw resource text rewards is off and also draw leaf rewards. So this is the leaf rewards. So you can now turn those off. And resource text rewards, like see how I'm getting those, um, I don't even know what I got there. I think I picked up two seeds and some other stuff. That's that. I just turned that off too. I don't know what draw shop notification is. I guess you can turn notifications off too. Brew notifications, salvage, trade. You can turn all that off. So I did all of that just to help it help it so I could keep farming the tower over and over again. A blazing skull can't be used on the uh, uh, tower boss floors anymore. If you are farming equipment, you will come in here. There's the blazing skull. I have him on auto use. You can't use him here. And I would just have him automatically be used while I was farming because the more things you kill in the tower, the more stuff drops. And the more stuff drops, the, the better. I guess I was also using him wherever I can, which makes sense. I, I only have two million of them. I don't know. I'm, I might run out sometime soon. But he was very important just to make more stuff spawn in general. So, like, if you're farming snowmen, you're going to want to go there and use him. We can actually do that real quick. We can go to, because I actually have it favorited. And you're going to want to use this here to, su to summon a bunch of stuff like that to try to speed up getting cards. See how that works? And then we got a card. I forget what color blue is. Because he uses non-standard colors for things. We got a blue snowman. I don't know what that I don't know if that's good. I know it's better than I know it's not gray. But yes, you can spam this. I don't know how often this the auto thing does, but it's not fast enough. But that's <clears throat> That's one way just to get more stuff to spawn. <coughs> Excuse me. Offline Ancients, uh, yeah, you can get Offline Ancients. Um, it's a gem upgrade for the Pyramid. It's based on your highest clear, so... Whoops. It's way down here somewhere. <clears throat> or maybe it isn't. Oh, 
Oh, it's in the offline section, duh. Yeah, offline ancient leaves. So this just gives you 2% from your highest cleared pyramid floor reward. And so I guess you have to buy this and then clear one. So I don't, I don't have any ancient, I don't need ancient leaves anymore. So I don't have like a really good one to show you. I'm guessing if you go to your offline, your stats, your, where is it? Offline rewards, I guess it shows it in here. And yeah, my, my like I said, mine's pretty crappy because, well, wait a second. That's 2%. That probably is my most that I've cleared because uh, 10 times of that would be uh, 3 million, right? And 5 times of that would be 15 million. So I probably got the most I got was 15 million around. So that's actually accurate. Bot control panel is now just control panel, so it's just the same thing. And the reason is because now it has the auto buy and the resource panel. Both of them are there. <clears throat> auto crunch settings now consider input key. I, I guess, you know, if you turn on auto crunch, it says hit control C to stop. I guess it there's, there's settings for that. You know what? Let's go look because I have auto crunch. I'm sure. I don't know. I don't know. We're well beyond. We're not going to look into that. Leaf-powered ALBs can now be toggled. This actually threw me because it actually starts as off. So you can actually uh, turn your ALBs uh, to slow mode if you want to. Where is it? So this, like, it started off and I was very confused when I, where they were charging up. And you can turn it back on and they don't have to charge anymore. Oh, the crafting button increased in size, so I guess this is bigger now. Okay. AFK mode added for mobile. Okay, I don't, we're not playing mobile. Pet sprite fixes, I guess, the some issues with our pets here. Active scroll text added to the scrolls menu. I don't know what changed. I really can't tell what changed, if anything. All right. Relevant resources. Oh yes, this is this is a very very nice change. Now you can just see your resources down in the bottom right hand corner. Cor bottom right hand corner for a lot of things. It makes it so much easier, especially for obscure things. This is another reason why you can kind of simplify what you need to look at. This is great, great, great change. And insufficient re materials and resources are also colored in red. That that was we talked about that earlier. Game options are saved in a different file for challenges. No more accidentally salvaging anymore. I'm assuming that meant you could go into a challenge and change all your game settings, and it would screw up your main game settings. And now they're in different files, I guess. Minor quest fixes. Uh, I, I, it doesn't go into more detail than that. Two community leaves added. Those were the leaves from the winners. So I think I have both of them. Uh, I couldn't. I know one of them. No. Uh, maybe this guy? I don't remember this one. I, you know, now I can't even remember who the winners were. I'm going to go look. I'm going to go look. <clears throat> so I know Kevin and Cenus. Oh, Cenus. Really? Cenus didn't have a leaf before? Oh, <laughs> wake up, leaf blower. <laughs> Okay, so Cenus got his. He, he's in here, and the other one was Kevin. Oh, and he's he's the lightning bolt. Okay. Season five, Rise of Beatopia. Okay, there you go. So the, th those are the two new community leaves, and finally, <clears throat> more options. We kind of went over the options already. So that is the patch notes. I'm gonna stick them up here on the end in case you want to go through them again. Uh, this video was actually way longer than I thought it would be going through all these notes. I mean. Really, the big thing was the cards. <clears throat>
the cards and making card packs, etc. That's the big news here. Um, that plus learning the color is gray, blue, uh, yellow, <laughs> red, then purple, and finally legendary is like the rainbow effect. So that was the big thing. So that said, once again, thank you for watching. I probably rambled on way too long about this patch than I should have. There was a lot of little changes I wanted to point out in case you were curious or missed something. I know I missed things. And <clears throat> especially, like, my, my leaf blower is not working all of a sudden because they were charging up. I'm like, what the hell was that? I had to go digging around for that. So hopefully that helps you. But as always, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again and have a great day.